Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00. This is my Law and Theories video series. In this episode I explore an insert in Dr. Halsey's diary in reference to dual and tri-core AIs and how it affects lifespan. In my frequent impromptu reviews of older Halo lore, I came across a little bit of information which caught my attention. It detailed the hypothetical, though not so hypothetical, process of creating tri-core AI, or basically three AI cores, all working as one. Halsey surmised that having three AIs working together would be able to keep a better handle on minimizing down on the risks of rampancy by performing routine maintenance on each other's deep matrix connections. The thing is, in this hypothetical idea, she noted that all smart AIs were reserved for the war effort by the UNSC. But she also wrote that she had access to three donor brains. She arranged for them to be transferred to a facility close to where she needed them before they actually passed away. Not much else was said, but Halsey was very pragmatic and likely went ahead anyway, regardless of the regulations and such. I've already spoken about the possibility that rampancy may in fact be a fabrication, but Humoring the idea that it isn't avoidable, she reasoned that it's not the number of connections that cause rampancy, but rather the lack of physical topographical space to expand into. This has its pitfalls, as I've previously explained, that not all AIs exist upon a data crystal chip, with many occupying much larger topographical systems. Three AIs. If anyone's heard of the theory of Roland, Cortana and Durandal, I might explore this later. That being said, her motives for exploring the possibilities of putting an AI into slip space was inspired by this idea that an AI just needs more physical space to expand their knowledge, even if rampancy is avoidable or not. In truth, a version of what Halsey was aiming for already existed years before she pitched the idea. On Harvest there was an AI by the name of Mac. He was in charge of the Jotun harvesters and the planet side logistics, but he also possessed a dormant core, a core he could periodically activate if he required some downtime, but much like Banner and Hulk, they didn't always get along. This other AI, interestingly enough, was a military-grade AI called Loki. Loki actually resided upon the UNSC colony ship Skif Blavnir, the very same colony ship which had originally colonized Harvest in 2468. Harvest was glassed in 2525. 57 years. 57 long years. That's how long Loki and Mac were active on Harvest. So let's just put this into perspective for a second. A dual core AI assemblage in the form of Mac and Loki were able to operate passively to one another for 57 years, where a single AI could only live for seven. Halsey was aware of reports of this accomplishment and wanted to look into the archives from Harvest as background research for her own. This increase in AI longevity is a little over 814%. Under the squared cube law governing relationships between volume and surface area increases, being something quite important to AIs if their limiting factor of lifespan is physical space, then the Mac Loki dual core fits relatively well with a small margin for error based on their own predetermined lifespans and if they were already experiencing the more difficult to detect early stages of rampancy. So 57 years for a dual core. So creating a tri-core AI would result in the 57 year lifespan divided by the original lifespan cubed. 57 divided by 7 to the power of 2. 539 years. Halsey was on the verge of developing much longer living AIs. The next big leap will dawn when AIs start making AIs. Then the inherent flaws in their design will be removed. It's a wonder this hasn't happened already. Or has it? I wonder if we will ever develop AIs that can harness a new generation of autonomous Mjolnir. But that's for another blog. Thanks for watching. Stick your comments down below and I look forward to what you have to say. If you're new to the channel and like lore theories and Halo technology being analysed at insane levels of detail, 
hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so next time I put a video out you're told the second it hits the shelves. I want to thank the Halo community over at Amino for their support of the channel and my continual rambling blog posts over there. If you're not already a member of Amino, I strongly recommend you jump aboard. The link is in the description. Also, if you really like the channel, consider popping over to Patreon and give whatever support you can over there. It massively helps me out and frees up more time for me to put into this Halo content and drives towards an ultimate goal that I'm sure you're going to love. More details on that in the near future. Thanks again, everyone. Now go rest your brain.